Say hi. What's up? Hey, what is up? Hi, how are you? Uh, so this is to explain the video that's up and that uh, I'm getting comments on and shit. So the video is from Fort Wayne, Indiana, I think. We played Fort Wayne, Indiana that night and we went looking for food and you saw what happened. But uh, at work the other day, my friend Cameron was like, hey, you should post that to YouTube. And I was like, whatever, I fucking, I'll do it. So 50,000 views later, here we are. Uh, people were asking though, what happened? Why, what, what was the deal? So what happened was we got done playing and it was about probably one o'clock, 12 o'clock in the morning. We drove and found an IHOP that was open and we went up there and they told us it was a 20 minute wait. So all four of us sat outside and waited and uh, it was crowded, it wasn't crazy, but it was crowded. You know, it was Friday or Saturday night, I'm not sure which one. But uh, so we finally got a table, we sat down, ordered, I got a salad, I ate, and so we proceeded to wait and wait and wait and wait. The waitress came over a few times, uh, saying sorry, saying, you know, excuses for whatever, whatever. She gave two guys milkshakes um, to say sorry. So maybe that was an hour in. So then she comes back and she says, um, I'm so sorry, we gave your food away to somebody else. What? So somebody else got the wrong food that left and then we didn't get our food. So she said, you know, it's coming as fast as we can. We're doing the cooks making it right now. Who had the bowl? And I said, I, I did. And she said, that's what's taking so long. The fuck, you throw the shit in a bowl. You don't wrap it in a burrito. So after this like two hours plus the 20 minutes sitting outside, she comes to the table with the food and gives everybody their food and then gives me mine. And I'm like, what's this? And she said, that's your food. And I said, no, we just talked about it. I said, I ordered a bowl. And she said, oh. and she kind of just went in the back and disappeared. So the little manager guy came up and I was like, man, you, you're right here. You know what's going on. You don't even give a shit. And I think I called him a fucking dipshit. Uh, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I don't give a fuck. You wait two and a half hours, you're going to call somebody a fucking dipshit too. So I called him a fucking dipshit and uh, security came over. Prior though, during our two hour wait, I was fucking hangry. So I was doing some fucking drumming with some silverware and I got the security guard's attention a couple times. I don't give a fuck. Uh, why does this place have an armed security guard anyway? But this dude's job was to give people their food which is weird. Like there was a table at the front by the cash register and then to go orders, the dude was like in charge of the fucking to go food. Uh, I'm not sure if it had something to do with COVID. I don't know. Uh, but we were hungry and that's the, that's, that's really what happened. So to all the people that were talking shit about me being a tough guy, I wore my wife beater. So I look tough for you. Uh, the people that were talking shit about my shorts, go fuck yourself. The people that were talking shit about my jacket, go fuck yourself. You couldn't afford that jacket. Uh, Proto is one of the nicest guys in the world, the bass player. He was fucking angry. He was fucking mad. Uh, he didn't call nobody a fucking dipshit and didn't flip a table over. But also about the table, I stood up. And I told the man, I said, don't put your fucking hands on me. If you put your hands on me, we're going to have a problem. The food really wasn't mine. I didn't pay for it yet. Nobody paid for food. We got our food free, whatever food we did get. Uh, so when I stood up, though, the table started to lean. I didn't just flip the bitch like fucking crazy. But once it started to lean, I gave it a little push. And I was like, fuck it, I don't give a shit, whatever. Uh, but the dude never put his hands on me. I wasn't trying to be a tough guy. I was just trying to stick up for myself and eat my food. Uh, I, I think that's it. But uh, to the people that were talking shit in the comments, tough warrior guys behind the keyboards, whatever, dude. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck your mama. I don't give a fuck about you. But I appreciate you watching my fucking videos and giving me 50,000 views on it. Go fuck yourself one more time for that. Uh, but it was pretty funny. It was uh, a good end to our evening. We went and slept and were happy. And uh, all the guys ate food. I had something in the van that I ate. And I had eaten the salad two hours before the fucking table flipped. But uh, anyway, that's that's the thing. That's what happened. At the, the shit. I don't think I left out any details. Uh but all the guys I was with, like every rich, 
He's a very nice guy. He's not going to yell at nobody. Proto, very nice guy. He's not going to yell at nobody. Mike, the singer, very nice guy. He probably would have yelled at somebody, but he was just sitting there funny, you know? If you notice, there's a table of big motherfucking Mexican dudes, or Latino, whatever the correct word is, but big motherfucking Mexican dudes like cowboys. Tight shirts, tight pants, fucking button, buckles buttoned in their, you know what I mean, tucked in their pants. They were fucking pissed. They kept turning around asking us, man, what the fuck's going on? We're like, dude, we don't know. But, uh... When we left, that dude smiled. <laughs> I was like, sorry. But uh, anyway, that's it. Not much to it, but thank you for 50 fucking thousand views. Uh, to my friends that know me and that commented and said nice shit, thank you and you know me. Uh, the people that said mean shit, again, fuck yourself, fuck yourself, fuck yourself. But uh, hope everybody has a good day. Happy Wednesday. Bunch of dope sick shit going on. I will do that in another video. See ya.